This is an experiment related to trace the path of refracted light through a glass prism. The apparatus needed are pins, bell pins, a protractor, scale, a very sharp pencil and a prism. This is a prism. Prism is actually a transparent glass piece which has two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. You can also say that this is a wedge shaped structure having two refracting surfaces. Place a white sheet on the wooden board provided to you. Place the bell pins to secure the paper at the four corners. Place this excellent. Place a triangular glass prism on a white sheet of paper. Trace the boundary very carefully. And remove the glass prism. Name the three vertex of this triangular glass prism as A, B and C. Choose any point on the face of A, B. Place the protractor at this particular point and mark 90 degree. That's a normal. Join the lines of the normal along the marked points. Name them as N, N dash. Wait just one second. Mark this point as O. Keep the protractor exactly at point O along the normal that you have just drawn and mark an angle of 35 degree making an angle with the normal. With the help of a scale, join this point. Now you get an incident ray. Mark this as E O. So E O becomes the incident ray and angle E O N is the angle of incidence. You have to fix two pins on the incident ray exactly vertical Mark this as P1, P2 and place the prism on the traced boundary. In absence of any particular medium, light ray will always travel straight line showing a rectilinear propagation. So here you can say that the light ray is traveling along a medium called as air and in absence of this glass prism, it must have traveled a very straight line path. Now try to observe the images of the two pins along the other face of the glass prism. S slowly adjust the position of your head in such a way that the two pins align themselves to form a single image as shown right now here Ready. exactly at this now fix the third pin in such a way 
that it aligns itself with the two images of the pins that you see along the face of the prism. Now the three pins appear to fall in a single straight. Take the fourth pin and place it in such a way that it aligns itself with the two images visible from the face of the prism and the third pin so that all the pins appear to fall in a single straight line. The pin pricked areas Ready. encircle the pin pricked areas and mark it as P3 and P4. Remove the glass prism, join the points P4 and P3 at this particular point mark it as Q along the point Q and along the face AC place the protractor and mark the normal that's 90 degree join the points and mark the normal as M M dash join points O and Q ray O Q will show the path of the refracted ray of light so it's clearly visible that a incident ray E O when it enters from air into a glass slab it bends towards the base of the prism and once it emerges out again it bends outwards so here you can see that the ray EO is the incident ray and as it enters from a rarer medium into a denser medium it bends towards the normal and as it enters from a denser medium into a rarer medium it bends away from the normal extent EO and also extend RQ now you can see that the angle formed between the produced incident ray and the emergent ray is called as the angle of deviation and angle of deviation is given by a Greek letter delta so we have an angle of deviation which is given by a Greek letter delta stop or stop with the help of a protractor you can measure the angle of deviation in this case the angle of deviation is equal to 48 degree now we have to measure the angle of emergence with the help of a protractor keep the protractor at point Q and measure the angle of emergence in this particular case you can see that the angle of emergence is close to 75 degree so angle of emergence is equal to 75 degree angle the angle of prism this angle is called as the angle of prism an angle of prism for an equilateral prism is 60 degree you can see here now this is the incident ray this is the normal and the angle formed is angle of 
incidence. This is the refracted ray, this is the emergent ray, and this is the angle of emergence, and this is the angle of deviation, and this is the angle of prism. By observing this video, you can follow the procedures as per the instructions given and you can find the angle of emergence and angle of deviation for various angle of incidence.